Hi, I'm Dr. Rayner. Today I'll be talking about the basics of using the Glidescope B-Flex single-use bronchoscope attached to a Glidescope Core 15 monitor. The bronchoscopes can also be used with a Core 10 monitor. The B-Flex bronchoscopes can be used for the majority of bronchoscopic procedures, including bronchoalveolar lavage, protected specimen brushing, transbronchial biopsies, endotracheal tube placement, suctioning of the airways, and observation for percutaneous tracheotomy. These scopes can be used anywhere that bronchoscopies are performed, including the operating room, emergency room, ICU, and bronchoscopy suite. The techniques shown in this video are mine. Please consult your operations and maintenance manual before using this product. When choosing our bronchoscope, you can see that we have three different bronchoscopes to choose from. A B-Flex 3.8, 5.0, and 5.8. The packaging is color-coded according to the size of the insertion tube. And it tells us at the top of the packaging the minimal diameter of endotracheal tube that can be accommodated by the bronchoscope. I'm now ready to remove the bronchoscope from its packaging. Removing the plastic cover from the insertion tube. After doing that, we remove the plastic cover from the handle. And note that this comes with an adapter that converts a lure lock syringe to a slip tip for use with the accessory port. Today, I'll be using a B-Flex 5.0 bronchoscope. One cool feature of the B-Flex bronchoscope is the tube retainer ring. This blue ring just under the handle here that will anchor an endotracheal tube, allowing me to perform a procedure hands-free without using tape or an assistant. Note that this can also be used with a dual lumen tube when using the B-Flex 3.8 bronchoscope. I'm now ready to attach suction, making sure that the suction tubing is firmly anchored at the suctioning port. When holding the bronchoscope, you can see that my thumb is on the lever and that my index finger completely covers the suction button. When performing the procedure, it's important to hold the insertion tube straight, both to avoid kinking it at the handle of the bronchoscope and also so that movements made with my left hand are transmitted to the tip of the bronchoscope. I'll be performing this procedure transnasally and we can see that image quality is optimal between 5 and 50 millimeters on the Glidescope Core 15 monitor. When ready to inject fluids, we can use either a slip tip syringe directly in the accessory port or a lure lock syringe when using the included adapter. Specific procedures performed with the B-Flex bronchoscope will be covered in additional videos.